All right, folks, Mr. Buckle back here with uh, number 18 from your geometry chapter six self test. As you can see, my there from there and behind me. So, what we have here is a regular pentagon, M A N D C, as we can see, it's drawn here for us. We want to find the measure of angle C A D, so that would be this angle right here. And we want to find the measure of angle M D C. So, M D C is this angle right here. Um, and we're gonna, it, says, it gives us a hint. It says find some isosceles triangles and their angle measures. Um, I'm not necessarily gonna do that, but we could do that. What I'm gonna do instead is since this is a regular pentagon, I'm going to inscribe it in a circle because any regular polygon can be inscribed in a circle, which means that I can draw a circle around this pentagon and the vertices M, A, N, D, C will be on the circle. Those are um, then the right angle. And what I'm going to do here is since I want to find angle C, A, D, <clears throat> this arc D, C is the intercepted arc of that angle. And all of these arcs like D to C, C to M, M to A, A to N, and N to D all have to be the same measure because this is a regular pentagon. So there are five of those arcs there. There are 360 degrees total. So therefore, this arc from D to C has to be 72. Now, the reason that this is helpful is because this intercepted arc is double the angle measure from of C, A, and D. So if this is 72, that means C, A, D has to be 36 because that's half of it. So angle C, A, D, first one we're supposed to find has got to be 36 degrees. Now we need to find the measure of angle M, D, C. That's this angle right here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take, I'm going to find the measure of angle D, C, M. D, C, M is this angle right here. You'll notice that that's part of that pentagon. And it's a regular pentagon. So what this calculation is here is first I'm doing 5 minus 2 times 180 because that will tell us how many degrees all of these angles add up to. And then since they're all the same, if I divide it by 5, it will give me just the measure of this angle here, DCM. So that angle measures 108. So DCM, this angle right here is 108 degrees. That's useful now because, kind of a hint, we have the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle. This length and this length are the same because it's a regular pentagon. Therefore, this triangle right here is an isosceles triangle. And we have 108 degrees already accounted for right here. These two angles have to be the same size because it's an isosceles triangle. So what I'm gonna do then is set MDC and DMC, which is MDC is this angle, DMC is this angle. They have to be the same. <clears throat> and they're going to be the difference of 180, all of the angles together, minus 108, that would be this angle, divided by 2 because there are two of them. So therefore, do 180 minus 108, we get 72. 72 divided by 2 is. 36. So MDC here is also 36 degrees. Then we so this angle CD. But our last angle, MDC, DMC have to be 36, but we're asked to find MDC, and there it is right there.